Hey, happy Wednesday, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well wherever you're at, uh, all over the world and um, in, here in the U.S. Hope that uh, everybody is safe and healthy. We are all doing good out here, and um, hopefully by the time you see this on Wednesday, things are getting better. Um, prayers and, and thoughts for everybody. Um, Anyway, so today's video, uh, a couple weeks ago on the 14th, Vicki and I were down in Phoenix at the Woodworkers Source doing a live demo, um, which we've done a couple of them lately, and uh, just had a blast. Uh, a big thank you to Jason White and Corey Milstein um, from Woodworkers Source who kind of helped me set this up. And we definitely want to do more of this once this uh, corona thing is... Uh, uh, is done and all of our lives are back to normal. Uh, I want to get out and do more of these live demos. We did a lot of Q&A, just had a great time, met some really terrific people that didn't have any idea who we are as far as our YouTube channel, which was really cool. Um, but a lot of fans kind of came out and saw what we were doing and uh, ju we just had a terrific time. So I'm hoping that we can do more of this. So anyway, we've got some video clips. We've got some still pictures that I think uh, will be kind of um, kind of interesting to you guys, at least I hope so. So uh, this, so I don't know, this thing will be probably about 15 minutes long. So um, right now I am starting on a big project. I've got two of these big signs to do for a, a housing development over in San Diego. And next week you're going to see videos on that, uh, taking you through the entire process. So anyway, guys, hope you're doing well and, and safe and healthy wherever you're at. Um, if you have any questions, please email me directly, eric at makerwoodsign.com. Let's see, I had something else I wanted to say too. Um, no, I guess that's about it. Anyway, uh, hope you have a terrific week, guys, and uh, we'll see you on Friday Night Live. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Can I squeeze in front of you, you for one second? Yeah, yeah. Um, Eric? Butternut, I have covered butternut and I ate it. Really? Oh, yeah, I have not covered it. I love that. I love that. Yeah, for hand routing. Yeah. Do you want to say something? Hi, guys. Are, we're not live, are we? No, we're not live, no. but you can talk loud. This is the one time I'm giving you permission to talk loud. Okay, I Because I don't have the mic. Because you don't have... So we're here at Woodworker Source doing a demo, meeting all kinds of cool people that are braving the crowds, so to speak. I'll just leave it at that. But uh, having a great time making some sodas answering some questions, meeting some great people. So um, next time I do a demo, guys come out and see me. I don't know where we're gonna be next. We're gonna do that again. This is modified, and again, your son, you know. Okay. There's several different ways to do it. You can do it with a hacksaw or a drill press is the way we do it. Uh, and the, the couple reasons for that, number one, for me, it lets light in from the back side, because if this was all closed in, then uh, there's no light coming in from the backside. And the biggest reason is if you don't have it open on the backside, all of the sawdust that you create literally becomes like a fire hose in your face. So it allows the sawdust to escape out the backside. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, kind of, and that's with the little trim routers. 
And the reason for the base is the way, the reason you can kind of grab a hold of them. Sure. Whereas the bigger routers have handles, which you yes. can do. You can. I've did these for decades with big routers. I just prefer the little trim routers, okay, sure. modified trim routers. A little bit easier to maneuver, easier to handle, that kind of thing. So I'm going to stop you out. If you guys have questions, please ask. In the meantime, I'll give you guys your money's worth. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. So just, just so you guys can see, what I did here is I did all, all, although I missed those two lines, I'll go back and do those, because that is kind of this coming down. But, so what I do is I do all of my detail, uh, this this depth here, and this is uh, my, my regular profile bit, so the deeper you go, because it's on a V, the deeper you go, the wider line that it cuts. So I did all of this detail at one depth, I don't know, it's probably about an eighth of an inch, something like that. And then I went a little bit deeper because in order to get inside these really tight lines in these tight places, I couldn't go really deep. So then I cut all of, uh, finish up all the detail at a little bit deeper, which I don't, I've got a depth gauge to tell you how deep I am. But I don't, the thing is, and if you guys have been watching for a while, I don't go a lot by depth. I go more by the width of the cut. So I go as wide as I can for what I'm, what I'm actually routing. I wouldn't, like this depth here, I wouldn't try to fit that inside of that little, those little areas, because I would just wipe it out. I'd lose those legs. So after I get done all this process, although I'll cut those first, then I'll set it deeper again, and I'll go wide around everything. I'll, I'll cut a wider line, a deeper line around everything, so that when I go back with my, with my, 90 degree which this this is the bit that does all of this this texture stuff here once I've got a fat line around everything then it allows me a little bit of room for error so I don't have to get so close with this wider bit and I'm a lot less likely to nick those little areas kind of thing so so how do you keep it <clears throat> like on this area here uh -huh. it's black that you're taking out right and on this area you're leaving the black right practice <laughs> and, and, and trying to keep it kind of straight in your mind so uh, that's really uh, a good point but it's the way the, the layout template like what I did was I laid it out the way it started out was kind of like that so I have uh, so you have a template that you that's exactly template. right see I have so this is for that so you know we have a laser that we cut these out with and it makes it a really fast layout process but because of the way the, the, the thing is structured, um, you could cut it 
and you could cut it. This is all what I call outset, which these are like little islands outset and little islands there. But because of the way the, the template is made, I really have to pay attention that I don't cut these away, the black away, where I do want to cut the black away there. So it can be a little confusing sometimes. But being as I've probably made, I don't know, two or three hundred of these, I've, I've made some firewood too, I will say that. <laughs> so. And you just freehand all of the, all this? Is Correct. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In fact, I'll, 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 cut, I'll cut a little bit over here, so I'll kind of do it. Uh, once I get my white lines cut around there, then I'll fire this up and I'll show you exactly how I do that little texture thing going on there. Alright, let's see. Uh, okay, pay attention. Look at some of them. Every once in a while they do like... Hey guys, so we are here at Woodworker Source in Phoenix uh, on Black Canyon Highway. They got actually two stores. Um, having a blast, kind of answering some questions, making some sawdust, meet some great people. And in that subject, let me introduce you to people that I've never met before. So, ladies first. I'm Terry Smith from Peoria, Arizona. And how did you end up here? Is this just 
an accident or did you find out that I was going to be here or just uh, happen to come down to the store? Did the store contact you or what? Um, I got an email from, from Woodworker Source. Uh -huh. I try to learn something new about wood every day. That's a pretty good uh, habit to be in. Terrific. All right, we'll move on. I'm Jay Banner from Prescott Valley, Arizona. And you drove all the way down here just to see him. I did. Yeah. Wow. And and did you did you know of our any guy any of you know of our YouTube channel before this I, then? I've just never seen just from so you knew because of Woodworkers yeah. Source contacted you guys. Yep. And my you, name's Ron Hogan, and uh, I'm also from Prescott Valley. I just met this person from Prescott <laughs> Valley. <laughs> Nobody's home today. Here, yes. I got an email from Woodworkers. Uh, source, and uh, that's how I found out about this. So I've done some sign carving. I thought this would be a good thing to help me go to the next step. So I've enjoyed it. We're on. There's another guy over here, but he won't get on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys, for coming out. We had a whole bunch of people here a little while ago, but they got scared off as soon as Vicky brought out the tripod. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you guys have questions, obviously, as always, let me know. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe. And don't forget to click that little bell icon because we do four new videos every week. We love you, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Say bye, everybody. Bye. bye. <laughs>